get your voice heard. When everybody is out there on the streets just waiting to go viral, you have another opportunity. And that is to come to Anchor.com. Download the free Anchor app and join us here at the What's the Play family. And make sure that you DM us here, Stephen, at Who Cares the Podcast, or go to info at what's the play.net so you can join our family. We'll promote the shit out of you. We will promote everything about you. Make sure you're cool. We're not going to promote some of weirdos. We're going to make sure we promote you because everybody needs their voice to be heard. Everybody during this time needs that voice, right? Don't you need that voice? You can go global tomorrow. Just join anchor.fm. Go to anchor.fm to get started, all right? But make sure more than all that you join the What's the Play family. Info at what's the play.net will help you set it up, will help you go through all the situational things that you need to do. And tomorrow morning, we'll make sure that you get your voice heard. Warning The following video contains strong language, which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only about something I'm calling video game mode, which is that the more I stare at my screen and then I have to context switch between my screen and real life, my screen and real life, yeah. the more real life feels like my screen, the more I can't tell the difference. And it's not that I'm dumb, it's that my, pro- my evolutionary programming doesn't know anything about this screen. I know what you're saying. And what my concern is, is that we don't feel our own life and our own interest anymore. Like, we don't realize what we're doing. We imagine that we are characters in a video game. There's always a restart. There's always some exploit that you can use to start again. And I am increasingly feeling like reality is slipping away from us because the phone, it's a little bit like what happened with porn. We thought that porn was going to habituate us to like non-standard sexual practices. And to an extent it did. But I don't think what we really understood is is that it was going to rewire us so that it was very difficult to get aroused about anything because it changes your hedonic thresholds. I think the same thing is true for real for real life versus the phone. The phone is in some sense so much more intense for most people that that environment starts to blot out the feeling of being fully alive. Do you play Call of Duty? then it is your duty and obligation to go to what's-the-play.myshopify.com. That's right, it is your duty and obligation to go to what's-the-play.myshopify.com today. Men and women's sizes available. Go get your shirts today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Los Angeles And welcome. Welcome to the Who Cares podcast, a podcast that enters your soul with your host, Stephen Moraga. Once again, live here, the Who Cares Oodalingus. Here I am, Lord. <laughs> Is it our Lord? Always Where's calling to podcast for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Stephen, with a PH. Controversy kills. Last week's was, we're getting so many points of reference, and everybody loved it. And what they really loved was the honesty from the Southern Bell, Miss Meg Lee. Oh, thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Hi. I've loved something that doesn't really exist. Um, I, I just want to say, um, mm-hmm. my stories aren't as good as yours, but, mm. um, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do some crazy stuff so I can get on, <laughs> on level with you. <laughs> well, you just got to live life like I do. I know. I got to live. I, yep. I feel like that you do have a lot of crazy stories, but you just kind of, I feel like I did that like 10 years, like, you know, maybe like 
10 years like ago? It was like 10 years ago, you know? So you're saying that um, I'm a little washed up? No, I'm saying like, you know, I, I, I've been there, done that maybe, I don't know. So you're saying I need to get my life together? No, no, no. I'm saying like you like to fuck a lot more. Like I, I got, the fucking, <laughs> I got, I got the. I guess I got it all out of my system. <laughs> well, you know what? With, um, out of your system, you know what? Last week we've been getting emails, we've been getting uh, tweets about honesty, and I think that that's the one thing about our podcast that is different than everybody else's. We we put ourselves out there. We talk about exactly what we do in life, and I don't think that a lot of people. Everybody wants to say, "Hey, I'm uh, Chip Chip Willingham." No. Yeah, absolutely. Well, talking about your story too about your whole health scare. My whole health scare, which basically was kind of we. Uh, it was like a to be continued. Right. It is to be. So continued. what happened with that? Or, well, let me just tell you. Are I you got dying? It. Yeah. No? The, let me just tell you the test results here. Oh no. Uh, I know. Are we not sharing cups anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> to all the people that unfortunately are afflicted. Oh uh, with, yeah, with you things. can share cups. I'm just kidding. I would just still share. Would you a cup. share a French fry? No, we did. This was a serious situation. If I don't have a cup, my Well, because last week, in, pay, in case anybody wants to know, if they're listening to this for the first time, last week that I had got my hands pretty much eaten off while I was saving a, 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 a man's life in my room. While he was seizing, which you're never supposed to do. Yeah, I'd never put your hand in the mouth of Well, somebody. he was also seizing on GHB, which is a totally different I kind know, of seizure. Fair. Everybody's like, I would have just left him. <laughs> yeah, everybody did say that. They, yeah. and you know what? He even said, he's like, why don't you just dump me by the trash can? I said, because I'm not that kind of person just because I met you. Even the doctor you went to was like, I would have just left him. Yeah, she did. <laughs> and even that doctor, we'll get to that. Yeah. With doctor. I know. I, I know. <laughs> anyway, so that p- physician's assistant uh, saw a lot of the scars or whatever on my body and, and in my hands and all that and uh, was going to do just a normal test or whatever. And I went, and let me just tell you right now, this physician assistant, very hot. We're not going to get into that yeah, yet, but yeah, she's yeah. very beautiful. And it's kind of weird when you're talking to her because she's like, well, what happened to you? And she's bandaging my hands, yeah. wrapping my hands. And I said, well, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, I was dating a young girl, younger than you, because she was pretty young. Yeah. And yeah. so I said I was dating a hotter, younger girl than you. No, I'm just kidding. She wasn't that. No, because you know what made her pretty? was the fact that she was almost a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> and that, right there, yeah. made me, and so I kind of like, I, and I don't know what to do in, during that time. Do I make small talk with There's her? There's no way you can make small talk. You're there basically with injuries, on, and you're, it has to do with sex somewhat, because you're kind of leading to the fact that it's not a sex. young girl. Oh, yeah. and then, but it wasn't the girl that I but said. But I mean, it starts off with that, a young girl, so. Right, and, and I told her the whole story. Yeah. And she's wrapped my hands and then, you know, and it has to do with drugs and, you know, like maybe I should have called the police and, hey, listen to any police department out there. I did your job for you. So don't even come at me about anything because I actually saved his goddamn life. But, and by saving his life, he basically was Seizured on Seizured for some, four and a half hours. Yeah, he, right? he was on something. So it was kind of like an overdose, he, right? He, it was an overdose. He, uh, a GHB. That's crazy. Right. And he seizure. I never even knew that you could seizure for four and a half hours. I never even knew you could have these people over at, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right. So what happened yeah. was, you know, I saved his Saints life. If you want to, if you want to listen to the whole story, it's last week's podcast. And I you. said this week we would talk to you about the test results. And you know what? Saint Thank Steven. God. Can we call you Saint Stephen? I, mean, I think that's well. I'm mean, named what after is, him because his name is with a PH. God damn it. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, have you ever thought about being a podcaster like myself? Well, you can't be like me, but I want you to be that innovative. That wonderful, spectacular voice that the world needs. But you got to come to the What's the Play family because we moved over here to Anchor. We left Spreaker behind and we moved over here to Anchor.fm because Anchor is your one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and it's ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, like myself, so you can get paid to podcast. So remember, go to Anchor.fm slash start and join me and the What's the Play family. You know how to get a hold of me. And make sure you do it today, because I can't wait to hear your podcast. Did I just say, God damn it, I'm St. Stephen? <laughs> oh, St. Stephen. He was stoned to death. St. Stephen. And this kid wanted to be stoned to death, but you know what? I saved him from being dead. I'm going to stone you to death. I'm going to you pull one of these moves where you so, put your So this is what happens. Him. So what happens is my quest diagnostics, right? They they message me around 3.30. This I wasn't is, checking my emails on a Friday, right? And this go, is how it is nowadays, I guess, right? Our yeah, health care is just how you get... Results or something? Yeah, this isn't buying like rims. Shit, no kidding, right? This is and life or death, huh? This is life or death. What kind of test were you, what was she doing for you? Well, that's the thing, right? 
She said it was like. Well, we haven't got it. Well, the reason yeah. why we got in there is because she called me back, and we're going to play that, and we're going to play the clip in a little bit because we did record her uh, saying this. Uh-huh. But basically, she goes, "Oh God, she, you know, she sent me home with some antibiotics for my hands because I've been bitten off and the yeah. bloody is mess. Wrap my hands, and they were going to do a, a rabies test. And oh, I said, yeah. and I said, do you know anybody who's ever gotten rabies? She's like, well, no, actually, I haven't. But uh, yeah. and I said, it doesn't matter. You have beautiful eyes, yep. just like yours, Miss Megan. <laughs> And so I'm like, how do I talk to this girl? Yeah. She's like, I'm here every morning. I'm like, God, I, am I going to have to break my leg every day or I something? Know. Am I going to have to save so many people every day? Right. And, and so, <laughs> so she sent me home. And then all of a sudden, you and I were recording last week. Yes, that's right. I remember right before. And she goes, oh, God, you got to come in. There's something I saw. The fact that she called back and said, mm-hmm. I need you to come back in for testing. Some blood work needs to be done. I'm like, oh, shit. What? And I said, blood work? Like, are you going to turn, do you really have rabies? Yeah, no, but she said it very seriously. Yeah, she did. Like, I thought, are you going to turn into a werewolf? Yeah, but I, but we knew what she was talking about. Exactly. Crazy. So, she thought something was seriously wrong and that you could have the... HIV. Which is... A very... If people don't know HIV, H- HIV. Oh. Okay. And maybe some other things, but she was originally worried about hepatitis. And what's the other one that I got? A, tet- a tetanus shot, right? So, I mean, I'm sure... That's this, the rabies, yeah. Yeah, I'm, this kid wasn't yeah. like, you know, whatever. Yeah, but his, he bit you on the hand, so his blood... No, it literally like, wouldn't let go a couple yeah. times. Over and over and over. So, short story long. Tried to muster the courage. You left, remember? Yeah, I was like, you, are you going to go right now? Because mm-hmm. she said to go right now. And I'm like, Miss Megley, where are you going? I need, I need a, a friend. What, everybody? I don't know, maybe this is them calling. Hello? 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 Yes. Hello, yes. I saw you this morning. How are you? Oh, how are you doing? We were just talking about it. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to know if you could come back here. I kind of want to do some blood work because I don't really know what the hell I'm getting. Um, I kind of want to do some blood work because I don't really know the health status of this guy who attacked you. Uh-huh. So, um, are you able to come back sometime today before 8 for blood work? Sure. Yeah, you know, I was just I was just wondering, um, too, also, what, what, what was the uh, reasoning for the pictures? The pictures? Yeah. Um, they're just for your medical chart. They don't go anywhere besides the chart. So if you came back, like, let's say, I gave you antibiotics, so let's say they got uh, really, really infected or something, uh, and you came back, we could compare to the prior pictures. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because, you know, we don't give them out. I was going to say, yes, because those pictures are very valuable on the on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> um, but are you able to come back before 8 for a blood drop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I just want to check for some kind of like bloodborne pathogens because I'm looking at these pictures and I just worry because I don't know the other guy. Uh oh. Okay. No. Okay. Sure. All right. Well, I'll tell the MA then. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your thoroughness. Yep. Goodbye. Thank you. I know, and I was like, you know what? Um, My family wants me. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's, that's a good excuse. My other family. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good excuse. All right. And you said, you better go. The last word, yeah. you better go. And I was like, yeah. okay. And then I went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and, fell asleep. And, and so, because I was just the traumatic experience of it And all. even the next day, I was like, are you going to go? Did I see you the next day? I thought no, I no, you called day. me. I, like, I, I yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what you did? You're I picked like, you oh. up from the dog. I thought you went. You, I just picked you up from the, I took you. To where? Oh, to get my medicine? Oh, yeah, to get your medicine. Yeah, that's how you did. That's how you did. This is the original medicine, right? So for everybody not that, yeah. that I'm sure is like wanting to know what happened, the this girl, the girl, this physician assistant, very, I'm sure that she's very professional, and I'm glad that she made the uh, the right moves, the proper moves, and said that, you know, maybe she should see something, I, I have guess. a question, though. How long did it take after, so you went the next day, right? It took to like get, three days for me to get my, t- uh, oh, that, I, to muster up the courage. I thought it was long. Oh, Okay. To muster up the courage, Got it. because oh, the next shit. day I was like, but then I had to go to Easter's, oh, right? Yeah. And I had, I, I wanted to get this, I want to get this done so that, like, first of all, I need to get my hands wrapped, and so, oh, I, that's what happened. So I went one night. Uh, oh, I did. No, you know what? I went the next night, and I waited to. Yeah, you and had I, to wait a while. I thought. No, I went. I went the next night that you said, and then yeah. they. I came real late, oh. and they're like, and they're like, oh, sorry, no, it doesn't matter. We were closed, and I'm like, it's eight forty five. Like, no, we take the last one at eight forty. I was like, I. I just need to drop blood, right? That's all. They, she called me in. She was very serious about it. Nah. Bl- oh. So then the next night at 8.40. No, I'm kidding. I know. No, it was easy. You came like... No, no, okay, yeah. So then the next night, the next night I went, and it was still late again. Because I, you know, like, it, that's just something that you don't want to really... Do? Right. And uh, I put it off. Like, and to everybody out there, don't be a pussy like I was for a couple of days. And so I did it. 
I got the blood drawn. So this is what happened. I go in there and the uh, phlebotomist, is that what they're called? Mm-hmm. She's like, she comes in and she's, she, she misses, on one arm she misses two of the veins. But wait, was it her hand shaking? You said? Yeah, that, yes. I'm getting to that. So first I'm like, oh, she's just, you know, whatever. She's new. This Latina girl. And then she went to the other one. And then the one hand was steady. But the other hand holding the vial of blood was going like like she had like a like Tourette's or something like that or, or like, like um, or, or some or somebody in the office said be careful this guy his blood might be toxic that's what I thought be careful you're testing for HIV right and his blood it sounds like he probably does I mean just the fact that she's giving an HIV test she's like right. you have HIV she must be a gay man and I don't know that that's probably what she probably said yeah because I told her the story of me saving a man's life in my room. And my body was welted. But it's a whole different story than that, everybody. It's a totally different story, all right? So there was a, there was a lead up to that. And if you want to listen to that lead up, it was last week. So yeah. not to say, hey, not to say anything about gay people. I think that I'm guessing, though, the results are going to be. Well, so, but what I was very excited about is they did the, uh, the very extreme test. Because oh. there's some HIV tests that I found out after all my research. Yeah. They did the one that actually like gets you uh, like right away. Because a lot of times HIV, they say it doesn't show up and blah, blah, blah. blah. But yeah. this one is like was the good one. It shows you like all levels of HIV. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're really on point now. And hepatitis. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Well, well, you're, yeah. you're a little skipping. The, well, you, you said no know. because you said no. When you're going to give an advanced test like that, you're going to also test for, you're not just going to test for HIV, you're going to also test <laughs> Well, you hep- were a nurse for two years. Yeah, so you're going to test for all the hepatitis is. Which, you know. Well, I and, didn't know that. Oh, well, I thought that's what you meant by that. So the phlebotomist you know? is yeah. shaky like a motherfucker, right? And so then she leaves the room and then the nurse. That it's almost ri- like she knows already. It's like That's f- what I'm saying. Like everybody told her like, hey, watch out for this guy's blood. He most likely has HIV. Yeah, right. That's what I thought about because I went home and I didn't for think about sure. it. I didn't think about it at the time. But when I woke up, I woke up in a cold sweat like, oh, God, why was she shaking? Yeah. Right. I mean, these are the things that healthcare professionals need to know. That yeah. they, we're not buying rims, or we're not buying a car. Damn how it. about like let's let's just like you're trying to ease the patient. You don't want to get them. I mean, that's why patients are afraid to are afraid to go to 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 see a physician or or whatever to see a medical professional because they scare the shit out of you. That's right, and and they need to communicate with you better. Like let's not just, like can we please yeah. not like, act tell like me, I already tell have me, HIV? Right. Tell <laughs> tell me exactly why. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Tell me exactly why you want to test me for this and why. I, I, it just it would make me feel better and also don't act like I already have something really horrible and yeah don't let a phlebotomist like, have oh my gosh don't let a uh, phlebotomist with tremors yeah ever ever have a job there because it sounds like she had tremors uh, I, I think I think it, it's she was told that she was giving uh, a, That's what a I full think. panel yeah like so so well, a full panel so the other guy that had checked me in the day before two days before whatever oh. I go and go hey man like uh, can I go now and he's like oh yeah no I said well what are you guys testing for he's all HIV oh straight up wow. straight up just like that I go oh, it's what I figured but and he told me right thanks for that buddy but the way he told you yeah HIV and I'm like oh no wonder she was shaking oh okay cool. and then didn't he say tell me that I want to hear again how he said like HIV then after though he said you're, you're a good man oh that's different so then the next day, I went because I have to go to Easter Sunday with my parents. Uh-huh. And now the wraps that, that, that PA, the beautiful PA girl did mm-hmm. three days before are starting to look really brown and wrap it, unwrapping and all that. I'm like, I can't do this shit. I can't go to, I went over to the old fucking CVS and I don't even know what kind of. <laughs> I don't know how to wrap gauze. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to wrap gauze. I don't know how to like, and you know what? I, I, I noticed that some gauze is like sticky, some non-sticky, but not really sticky. My mom always did this for me. <laughs> yeah. My mom used to cut my toenails. So I was like 14 years old. So, uh, and she cut my grapefruit for me. And in, when I say cut my grapefruit, she cut the triangle part out of it and I didn't know that grapefruit didn't come that until I was 27 years old yeah so 27 so when you tell me I don't know about gauze and wrapping (laughs) my hands so I figured I gotta go back to that place even Mm. though I just gave blood last night I go to that place and the one he is a physician's assistant I believe a PA another PA another PA but he is I asked him if he could be I didn't know if he is or not but I asked him to be my primary doctor because my doctor is retiring right are you okay Bentley you okay Bubba Okay. PAs can be your primary. Okay, well, this guy's an amazing man. 
And I even wrote him, I wrote a Yelp review about him, and I don't remember his name now, as I I would talk about it on the podcast. Damn it, why am I not prepared? But anyways, this man, uh, he he comes and looks at my hands, and he goes, you know what, they're healing very, very well. I don't think we need to wrap them. Just go to Easter. And and then all of a sudden, I said, well, you know what, man, I'm like, I'm kind of nervous because the whole, this whole, I kind of told him, and he goes, Stephen, man, I'm going to get choked right up. Um, You know, a lot of stuff is... uh, in my life, it was wasn't going too well, and and uh, I put myself in some bad positions. Thank you, Billy. Uh, and uh, he said something to me. He just uh, he looked at me because he's seen me before for other stuff when I've gotten in trouble. And uh, and he looked at me, and he and he, and he truly said he, he looked at me in the face on Easter Sunday, like at three o'clock. I'm supposed to meet my parents at like four thirty or something. <laughs> and he looks at me in the face, and he goes, he goes, Stephen, just remember, man, you're a good. Yeah. Oh shit. A good person. He said, "He goes, uh, you know, Stephen, you're a good man. I know that about you. And uh, no matter what, no matter what, uh, what happens, you're a good man. And uh, you know, when you're when you're you're looking at yeah. stuff like that because you don't know what your life yeah. has gone through yeah. and all that. Yeah. When somebody, especially like that, when somebody tells you that, that kind of knows you a little bit, but a, a man that you respect." That doesn't really know you, but he does, and he can see that you're a good person and a good individual. Um, I don't miss Megley. I walked out of there, uh, and I kind of was just relieved. Whatever happens, happens, right? Did you sound like you I already kneeled, knew something? I kneeled down outside the the damn HB Urgent Care, and they must have looked at me like, "Who the fuck is this guy? Think he is Jesus on Easter or some shit?" And I literally prayed, and I said, th- "But I said, thank you, Lord." And I'm not the biggest. Uh, God person, you know, that nobody yeah. had been, especially, you know, well, how can and, we? we and can't you go said to thank you, even though you didn't know the results yet. And thank you. I don't know the results, but I just said, thank you for giving me that, you know, and I was, I was crying, you know. And so then I had to go to Easter mm-hmm. and my parents were, when I'm eating the, the ham or whatever, they're like, what the fuck happened to your hands? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you got to explain it. Oh. And what my parents did, man, and I'm not going to go into everything. Of course, I, but I don't, I don't, I don't bullshit them. And, uh, uh, you know, because they know that their son is um, a human, and and they know they're human. Yeah. You know, and we're yeah. all the ages of like, you know, who, how uh, tomorrow's never promised. Yeah. So we're all just trying to figure it out, and and they were just so amazing, uh, uh way they handled the. <laughs> yeah. How do you handle that kind of information? And, and you told them about what kind of test you were getting. Yes. Right. Yep. Okay. Well, yep. Yeah. And they saw my gnarled hands. I don't think I would ever say that. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, crazy. they've been through these tests before. Oh, yeah, okay. But many, many years ago, but they've been they've unfortunately had to Yeah. Yeah. But uh so and sh- like I said, short story long, uh <laughs> you would think test results come a little faster, right? So I get my quest diagnostics on um almost a week later, I think. Yeah, almost a week later, like Friday at three thirty uh, or no, no Thursday no Thursday what's Yeah, it was like a week later because remember yeah, you you hadn't even when was Easter Sunday? Was it last Sunday? You no. were afraid no, it's been, to that's see two that, weeks now, yeah. right? You were afraid to see that girl. You were afraid to have any kind yeah, of... Yeah, I don't know. I don't want any yeah. contact. Any, but I, yeah, anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I did ask her. I said, whatever happened to that guy? She said, oh, he went to rehab. He died of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> Why? What happened? <laughs> yeah, why did you just let him go that night? Instead, he had to die a horrific death. <laughs> you know, so whatever. Fine. Well, at least it was one night. For, who cares? Where that? Listen to last week's podcast. If you want to hear the? Well, at least stuff. I did my what I could to save him. You know whether you right. know. I'm going on a tangent. I here. gave him one more day. That's yeah. right. I did. One more day. <laughs> I'm like, you know. So when you go to Quest. So I go to Quest Diagnostics and they say, oh, well, at three thirty, and I didn't check my. Email. Imagine if you don't have like a phone or, or any access to. How, email. Yeah. How would you even know if you're cool? <laughs> oh my god! I didn't get a phone call. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> I might as well just. But luckily, you have a phone. But there aren't. Luckily, there, I have an email. There's a lot of people that don't. But it's just for them. They're really, I guess, the fucked. indigenous people. Fuck, or just people. Or not that. the indigenous. What are they called? The down? No. What are they called? The disenfranchised indigenous. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The disenfranchised yeah, yeah, people. Disenfranchised and uh, um, also people that just want to be um, left you know, alone, like the hippies that yeah, just go on the you know live by the land or live on the land, live off the land, live off the land. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's foreign because I don't even know what that is. Live yeah. off the grid. Live off the grid, exactly. Don't get an AIDS test. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of AIDS motherfuckers. If out you there. live off the grid or living off the land, <laughs> we think you got AIDS. Don't get a test. Uh, don't fuck anybody. <laughs> all right, how about we just think they all got it then? 
<laughs> don't share a cup with them. Hey, huh? Is that why they're indigenous? No, I'm just kidding. No, no. no. Yeah. HIV now is is definitely like people can, uh, can take pills with and all that. You can live yeah. with it, and, yeah. and if it's undetectable, you can't get it. That stuff It doesn't matter. But you can get it. I mean, it's better to have. But it's it, not a death sentence like sometimes cancer can be. So it's almost better. I know you were saying yeah. that to me. I think I'd rather get like oh, I'm HIV positive than say you have like late stage cancer. Oh well, yeah. Right. That's what, yeah. I thought you meant just cancer. Well, I'm talking about like like yeah. oh late stage yeah. now. Yeah. Because you're dead. Well, you got like a year, six months to a year yeah, sometimes. Yeah, like Patrick Swayze. Oh. Rest in peace. So anyways, fucking Quest Diagnostics, right? Uh, email me. And they say, oh, your, your results are ready. And then I go there, and I guess I used to have a portal there from some other doctor. Yeah, you should have. That one was blank. There. I tried That's to set up a new portal so for them weird. with the same email. That's blank. And it That's said, weird. And it said, in California, the doctor has eight days to discuss your results with you. That's so weird. And I'm like, uh, so two hours, but it's like almost like two hours. And I hear I'm an app developer. Here I am in the cusp, Silicon Valley. That's so weird because I've never gotten a message like that. I hope it wasn't like somebody that hacked in and gave you like a fake, like probably I wouldn't doubt it. <sighs> Anyways, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people may not agree with some of these things on the podcast that we talk about. Wow. So what was the, what was... well, the next day around like 1130 at night, Oh. I get a, I get an email and your test results are ready this time because you know of course me I send like a bombardment of emails like telling them I'm gonna sue them, telling them I'm coming out with every guns blazing. I well, saw I saw a new prescription bottle on your desk. Is that is that like is that a sign of what your diagnosis is gonna be? Are you talking about Bentley's prescriptions? No, I'm talking about I'm talking. Are you are you are you taking some new medication? Yes, it's called my antibiotics for my hands, <laughs> motherfucker. That's all. So I look at I, I finally I, I at eleven thirty at night, I, and I'm like shit. Click 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 whiskey. Yeah. Oh. And then take, I, I look at it, and it says, oh, da da, androgens, HIV, androgens, hepatitis B, androgens, hepatitis C. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, all three of them. <laughs> but it said it didn't say. Well, I did, and then it, it didn't say to like, go it in the next portal or whatever. And so I did. And then uh, it says, you know, and in small print, and, and it has like, it kind of has like this little green thing, kind of. I, I showed it to you. Yeah, yeah. It, not reactive. Yeah. And that's, they didn't find any of the, you know, the virus of any of that stuff in me. Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah. You know what I would, if you want to go to patreon.com slash what's the play, uh, you can see my results. Uh, so Ladies? Guess, someone's going to be like, um, not reactive means um, that's like a positive yeah, result. <laughs> not reactive means undetectable, right? No. It, no, for reals. It said it didn't have, it did not have the actual <laughs> virus within that thing. So I, I legitimately cried and I call my parents because they had to go through that goddamn Easter yeah. Sunday with me, which is a weird yeah. Easter. Easters. They're like, they didn't want to, then they started, they divided You know what your they did? They their... started crying like I almost did right now. Uh, they said, here's all the food. We don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny about that? Because uh, she's my mom's like, can you get the mashed potatoes out of there? And then I'm like, oh yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, do they want? Are they looking at me like I don't know if I want to eat them? Just we take just, all of them. We just, just take, got our yeah. COVID shot. Hey, just take all the leftovers, okay? <laughs> take them all. <laughs> she gave me the whole ham. <laughs> we don't want it. It's okay. <laughs> hey, make sure you make sure you take care of that, like we did with our COVID. Love shots. you. Is it time for you to go now? <laughs> hey, you don't spend the night, are you? Uh, you're gonna go right. You're gonna go back home. Yeah, enjoy that good news at home. You know what I did? I enjoyed the good news. The Lord's good news. Oh, just kidding. No, uh, I think that of course you know I'm not like a God fearing man. I mean I'm a God fearing man now. I mean of course uh, in a foxhole there's no atheist, right? But I <laughs> I legitimately uh, my life has completely changed. Yeah, and you know what? You can blame that on the PA, otherwise known <laughs> as a physician assistant because, like, I've always thought and said, um, yeah, we need to bring the uh, uh, an MD, we need to start bringing MDs back in, in primary care offices right. and urgent care offices, uh -huh. and even hospitals now, because hospitals are oh, like filled with PAs now. And for those of you that don't know... What is a PA? It's a physician's assistant. They have not completed medical school. A physician's Assistant. What does that mean? It means somebody that assists a doctor is now getting to run the hospital emergency mm. room. Really? Is getting to run uh, urgent care. What? Is getting to run primary care offices because there's so few doctors now. Yeah, what happened? Because medical school is harder to get into. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 
That's- so there's a shortage of MDs. So now you don't have to, you can just get your master's degree and like, and you know, put in some hours training, but it's like, Hey, all of us can do that. Let's just go train. We'll, let's go be a shadow to a doctor and then get it. We'll be in charge of urgent care. And, and they do, they get a pretty high salary. I mean, not as high as a doctor, of course, but they're doing, I mean, they have way less training. They're not going to med school. And they have way less responsibility. Yeah, absolutely. If they do something so, fucked up and wrong. Oh, and just a PA? Like misdiagnose somebody that maybe has like some kind of like crazy, um, urgent attention kind of illness that if caught soon, they could live. But if caught later, they'll die. And that's happened. People have died because... You know what? I would like so uh, to all our community out there. I'd like for you guys. We're going to do our research on this. They don't get. They don't have to, to face the, the 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 crazy like malpractice suits that, that the doctors will have because they work under the guidance of doctors. But doctors are never there to guide them because you know they're PAs. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah the doctors have other shit to do. They're either working at like hospitals or something, so they get the PAs to fill in. Or they're actually doing the work that they're. Yeah, they're actually. To. Yeah, exactly. Or they maybe they're on the golf course too. But whatever the case, I don't think most they of are. the time though they're they're usually at the hospital doing rounds. They can see it at the rounds. You know, there's mm-hmm. there's they don't have enough time to. So, anyways, PAs are are like a fill in. They're like a fill in for the doctor, but right. they basically have full uh, you know, like control. Like they could make whatever decisions. They don't need the doctor's approval. You know, you know what's crazy about that? When I used to go to see my uh, doctor, my yeah. healthcare at Bright Medical, Doctor Stimler, when I, and he was a great doctor, no matter what the world has said about him. <laughs> but uh, they were all doctors. When you looked at the uh, when you, when you took the elevator and you looked at the chart or whatever to go to whatever doctor you need to see, they're all doctors. Yeah. And there was one guy named Angel. Or what was his name? You know who I'm talking about. Angel Cordero or something. Oh, in Whittier? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know what, though? And I thought, what they a... call him doctor. But he's a PA, right? Yeah. He was the only PA I've ever heard of in my whole life. And I'm like, what is this Mexican yeah. dude doing? Of course he's a PA. Mm-hmm. They're real racist over here at this bright medical, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But you know what that guy, Angel... was his name Angel? I don't know if he's Angel, but he was definitely Mexican with a beard. Yes. Yeah. You know what, though? Older guy, so you thought maybe he could be a doctor because yeah, he's older. exactly. But you know what? That guy was legitimately a badass motherfucker. Yeah, he's good at touching up scrapes and bruises and, and all that kind of stuff. And treating you for like But maybe, God forbid you should have, I don't know, maybe... Well, I don't know that. I, I Every time I dealt with him, he was a good guy. Yeah, he's and, good, he, and, he, and he was very no, knowledgeable. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're great. They're knowledgeable. But they only had... What I'm saying is they only had one PA there. Yeah, but they're also knowledgeable about stuff like you could have cancer and you might be showing signs that they might think, oh, you got... Let me... I'm just going to give you antibiotics for this because you probably have, I don't know, something that could be cured with antibiotics. Maybe you have... I mean, they'll mis- they, they There's a lot of misdiagnoses which a doctor would catch because he's gone to medical school. PAs have it. Absolutely. So... You, you know, when it comes to cancer, some kind of like crazy debilitating illness. It, I mean, it's a matter of days if you catch right. it in time. And do you think the PA is capable of doing that? And the, and the fact is, if he misdiagnoses you and don't find out until like months later, where Angel Delgadillo. Angel Del Angel Delgadillo was is it good. Angel? He was good at. Was it Angel? I don't know. It was something like his last name was Delgadillo. Yeah, it was. And I know he had a beer. And he, yeah, he, he was like, cool. You know, it's cool because they 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 come off as. Like he helped me, man. I don't. Want I know to say he helped you. Better. I've been here too. He's helped too. But what I'm saying he's is, he's good with colds and flus. No, and that you know what? That's Stitches. fine. If you have like one or two in your office, one or two PAs, that's cool. But don't make it that the whole damn office when you go is all a bunch of PAs. Uh, I want to see a doctor, please. Because what yeah, if my good thing, luck on that. What if my signs and symptoms are not just something? I don't right. know. It's not just a cold or a flu. Well, you know what we need to do, Miss Megley? We need to get rid of this podcast, and we're going to open up a real doctor clinic. Yeah, I know. We should with MDs. But th- yeah. that's another thing, too. You know why it's hard to get a lot of doctors? is because medical school now, is they make it so much harder to get in. I don't know well, why. that's good. No, but I mean. There's, that's kind of, you're kind no, of going but, against what no, you're saying. No, because it, it, it's too, it's like. It's ridiculous though, where like people that are straight A students are, mm-hmm. they oh. can't even get in. I mean, these are good students, but it's so, like, they're only uh, admitting like a small number. They should, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. I think uh, anybody should write into us and, and say, because we're going to do our research. Mm-hmm. We definitely will. And to see the dichotomy, the uh, breakdown. Of PAs right now in Southern, we live in Southern California. I don't know what's going on. Maybe in the rest of the United well, States. I, Maybe in the rest of the United States, there's, there's doctors no, I everywhere. I don't think so. I think it's everywhere because it's. I, here's another thing too. I want to say besides the doctor MD sh- shortage, it's about 
they get paid less. And so it's cost efficient right. to hire a that, I think that's more what it is. And, and so, you know, like how they say, you get what you pay for? Yeah. You get what you pay for. And I did. Well, if she hadn't been as, mo- as beautiful as she was, and if Matt, my PA that told me what a good man I was, because I know that he's, he is a, he has always come through for me when I needed him most. Yeah. So I, I don't want to, I don't want to disparage the good names of these. No, you're not. People. And, and I want to read you my Yelp review about yeah. it. Oh, can I want you to say this though too yes, real quick. Hold on one second. Wanna, say what you need to say right I, now. I just want to say one more thing. It, it, I want to just compare it like an analogy. Uh, it's like, you know when you, sometimes when you want it, like a good quality, um, I was going to compare it to like the Dollar Tree store, the 99 cent store, oh, or compare it to the market. Sometimes if you just want a basic thing that you don't, you know, you're not expecting to keep you. it for a long time, you go right. to the Dollar Tree, spend a dollar. Like, the old bread? You don't, you're not, you know, you're not expecting to have it for a long time. So you don't, you know. Hey, you throwing those vegetables out there, sir? Uh, but say you want like a good quality, I don't know, like um, pot or pan Danish. to cook with, something that's going to last you a long time. From solving. You're going to pay the extra and go to somewhere else. So if you, if you just have a minor, like, uh-huh. Sit, like sickness, yeah, yeah. illness. Right. Like, oh, I know I got a, a, a cold, maybe well, ear infection. I'll just go to a PA. But if you think, oh shit, I'm having. I have bumps all over my I'm, breast. I'm starting to, these, these symptoms aren't. They go to a doctor and hopefully you have one in your area because. Well, you have a, you have a significant other in your life that had a, uh, that you actually yeah. diagnosed before a PA, right? Or something? Yeah. Well, I diagnosed, but the, this is another thing too. This is about do- like, go to a young doctor that's, that is, um. Indian? More aware of like the new treatments Asian. because that's another thing. Doctors, and this is another thing too, always get a second opinion. Always. Because Absolutely. doctors are not going to tell you everything and they're not going to tell you the truth. They're going to do what benefits them, which is they're going to want to do your surgery. They know comes, where the bread's buttered. They want it. Surgeries are like a $100,000 payday. So guess what? Mm. If the doctor says, I'll do your surgery tomorrow, I can pencil you in. Say mm. no, I'm going to get a second opinion. Just just yeah. do that, please. Because that is weird when they do that. Yeah, they don't give you the options or anything. Yeah, because when you're we're, when we're in the care of the doctor, we're giving like, we're pretty much giving yeah, our soul, all our, our life, trust. everything. Like we're we're being like little, little uh, babies. We're kind yeah. of like, Mary. Just help me, yeah. and you're like in your fetal position. Yeah, like, like you must know everything because you're a doctor. Yes. and I and I'm, I, I don't trust know, you yeah. to do that. Yeah. and if you don't do that, then you should get the fuck out of the doctor yes. industry. Then yes. go be a fucking car salesman. Go be a, a real yeah. realtor or do something where that you don't deal with people. Yeah. That, that's fine. Yeah, I understand money and all that kind of stuff, but that's not people's but how help. how much money do you need? Because you know what? They get paid a lot, and I know they have to pay a lot in malpractice well, insurance. they probably right? weren't good at anything else. But it's like, you still, even with the, 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 and the, for the insurance human. that you have to pay, uh-huh. the doctors have to pay, they're still making bank, they're still making a lot of money. Right. And but they like, complain about the fact that this insurance will Yeah, thing. yeah. And they say it's a big, a big chunk of what? A big chunk of a big chunk? I'm like, right. what the heck? But really, when you want to be a doctor, you shouldn't be in it for the money anyway. Exactly. Exactly. That's a, and, 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 and that's what boils down. And to. that's what it basically it's come to. Though we have a lot of doctors. So are, PAs are in it for the money. PAs are in it because they wanted to be a doctor but couldn't. Okay. And they're kind of like they didn't have. Or to maybe do, they didn't want the responsibility. Uh, maybe they didn't want to go through that much school. Okay. But they kind of want a good payday. Not as much school as we went through. And they also think they know a lot more. Like, oh yeah, I'm like you know almost just like a doctor. Wow, who put you into a PA? <laughs> who what PA talk like that? You know, I never <laughs> seen a PA like that. <laughs> PAs come off like the fact that just yeah. to have people call him hey. doctor, right. you're not a doctor dick. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. Or, 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 or miss, bitch, whatever. You're not a doctor. You okay. didn't go to med school. Right. You don't get that right. Okay. I don't even shit like if you have a PhD, you're not a doctor. Oh, I hate when people who don't have a, when, yeah. when they don't have a PhD I got in medicine. I have a PhD in history. They call me doctor. Yeah. Doctor. <laughs> doctor what? Dr. Phil. Dr. Doctor, Doctor Roman Empire uh, history man. Yeah, I'm like, fuck. no, uh, that, I say that for my MDs, not uh, my like. Doctor you know. wrote an English paper that was really good. How about I call you Mr. PhD? Doctor yeah. communications major. I'll just call you PhD in history. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? No, but Dr. PE. And that's the thing, too. A lot of PAs go, will have them, they'll even have business cards saying doctor. Oh, like, fuck that. Yeah, I mean, it's like, come on. Whoa. They don't get to be called doctor, so, do they? Yes. Fact, Shut, wait, this, hold on, hold on. This there is, is this person. Now on, I'm upset right yeah. now. Some You're telling them, me right some now. Some of them will, yes. So I'll be, yeah. They'll have Angel Delgadillo did not write Dr. Angel Delgadillo. Yeah, yeah, but others will, and they'll probably have people prefer to them as doctor. Like, and they don't stop them from saying. There's only one doctor in this room, and it's Dr. Feelgood, and that's my <laughs> name right now. 
Because I feel good. Why don't you call your PAs Mr. Masters? Mr. Masters and... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think they even... They don't have to get their masters. Mr. Masters in biology? Do PAs have to get their masters? Yeah, they get their masters. PAs and, and, okay, and, and well, nurse that's practitioners. Kind of something. It ain't no fucking MD, though. That ain't medical school. No, I know, school. I know, I know. They do have to get their masters, for real? Mm-hmm. Corey? Yeah, he got his masters, I know. Hey, but masters is only... Yeah, two more years or something? Yeah, two more hey, years. you know what happened two years ago? Yeah, I don't, I mean, two like, years is like... Whoosh, yeah, like a, like two a years, flash, yeah. Yeah, okay. you know? Yeah. That's what I mean. It's like... And then... Yeah, so you know what I mean. So that's what I'm saying. It's like that. The, it's almost. like... I still have shirts. When we went to Nordstrom's yesterday, mm-hmm. I saw a shirt from two years ago <laughs> that I have, and it's still there. I guess COVID means that they don't have new styles or something. Like what the? F- I swear to God, I was going to tell you that there was a shirt at Nordstrom's yesterday. No that, way. It's a great shirt. Yeah. Granted, motherfucker, that was before COVID. I bought that goddamn shirt. Well, when some things are good, they're just... Well, that's two years ago. And that means that you're telling me that a PA can... Yeah. And that time that I bought that shirt to here... Yep. Get the fuck out of here, yep, that's, dear yeah. doctor. Right? Well, I want to read you what I said about Dr. Matt, though. Yeah. Because, and, and look it. I'm glad the girl did that for me. The beautiful girl. The beautiful miss, whatever. So much... I was in, so in love with her, I don't remember her But name. she didn't have to scare you like that. It almost made like... And so you heard that. And uh, it kind of sounded a little like she was shaky with her voice a little bit. I sound like she was scared for you. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> but then I want to I want to I want to read what I wrote about Matt, the the guy that uh, and she. You know what? I'm glad she did that for me because yeah. now I know. Yeah. I know that I'm healthy, wealthy, and wise, all in the mind because that it really has a lot to do with things, and it really changed yeah. my life because I put myself in a bad position, and uh, you know, the alcohol ate flowing as much, you know. And and things are getting moving faster, and it's kind of like you get a new lease on life. There's forks in the road, Miss Megley, and you either take them or you don't. Yeah. Either take the right path or you go the way of some crazy cousin of mine that lost his goddamn mind. You know. So, anyways, I want to say what I uh, uh, I said. Matt at OC Urgent Care has always provided exceptional care to myself. I recently went through a life changing experience and had been pretty shaken. I'm a level headed, calm, and logical thinker. So to even write this, much is difficult. Matt's care, and more especially his words to me today, gave me hope and hit me to the core in such a beautiful day. Don't ever let this man go. He's one of the good ones we meet on our journey. Thank you, Matt. Happy Easter, and God bless you and your family. And uh, That's a physician's assistant. Yeah, but he's, He might be a doctor, though. You no, know, um, he's probably he's a, PA, but um, PA. I just found out that he no longer works at <laughs> They just fired him. He works at a crane facility. <laughs> they, found out, they found out that he paid me $3,000 to write that. <laughs> no, they fired him the next day for like uh, telling every, t- for telling everybody that they, they're, 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 <laughs> they're, they're a good, good person. <laughs> We found out he's just the actual uh, what do you call it the um what yeah, that's he's like the, the trash yeah, he, uh, <laughs> what do you call yeah, it he's like the, yeah they just let him in sometimes like he, they're like oh damn it dude you keep coming in here he's just the janitor yeah. <laughs> you keep pretending to be that no he's a great man Matt uh, you're just a janitor yeah, when no, we tell he's you not. stop God putting the no, scrubs he's... on <laughs> quit stealing our scrubs Matt did you take an extra scrub again all right he did tell me if you want to come in here and be pretend to be a PA or something you can go steal scrubs hey man no, I, I, I make kidding. my badges out of the house I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Matt. You're a great janitor. No, honestly, hey, <laughs> Ma- oh, Mayo Smegley, the I'm just kidding. the voice of unreason today. <laughs> Ma- Matt, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, man. You you, uh, you really helped me at a time, and and also to the most beautiful physician's assistant. And if you're not either one of those two physician assistants, get the fuck out of the doctors' fields. We don't need you. We only need about a couple of you, and we need more doctors, and we need real legitimate doctors, not ones that want to charge, Can overcharge. Absolutely. Do anything I just, that they I just can want to give a reminder to Matt. Matt, don't forget to turn off all the lights in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't listen to this big Lee. He's a badass motherfucker. So uh, to wrap a bow on it, what would you say, Miss Megley? What would you do? Um, med school is better than master's. Okay, but even med school, like we said, uh, there's PA some shady be, doctors too. There should be always uh, an MD. Uh-huh. Um, Present when physicians assistants are working. Right. This way they can go to the doctor right away. There was because any. they give physicians assistants, PAs and NPs, nurse practitioners. What? What's an MP? Full reign. NP N is Nancy P is in Paul. They mm. they're nurse practitioners. They're like a nurse with masters, and they get to prescribe and diagnose and treat patients like at primary care mm. and also at emergency rooms and even at they basically take the place of a doctor. Right. When they're not around. Well, or, that's too much money for them. But to they pay give them it. full control. Like the doctor will be totally out of the office, out of the just 
not there. So they get to, to, to have full control of, yes, this person has this. I'm going to give them the prescribe them this. You know what I think is worse than all of them? Is that stupid receptionist lady that sits on her goddamn ass and talks to you like you're a piece of shit. Oh, really? Sign in. Oh, yeah. No, I'm really hurting. Yeah. Will you just sign in? I'm sorry. We're closed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 365 pounds below my belly. <laughs> Because I've been sitting on my fucking ass all day, and I, I saw some commercial on TV when I was watching and eating fucking bonbons all day, and I, they said, why don't you just go be some something in the nursing field? And then I became a receptionist. <laughs> How about this? How about, don't call me from the waiting room yeah. to the doctor's room only to make me sit. Yeah. Sit for another hour. Bitch, mm. don't call me back until the doctor's ready to see me. Or no, I'm sorry, not even a doctor. I don't even get yeah, that privilege. Yeah. Don't. Call me back there until the PA or the MP right. is about to come into my room. And don't you dare I, wear scrubs. Like, I'm not going to wait in this fucking patient room. Don't you dare wear any kind of scrub like thing yeah. with like little clown don't, faces you know on them. Don't walk around after working your scrubs like you're some important doctor yeah. that just did surgery. That's right. You're not. You're. Uh, you, a, a, they a, may give you once in a while an X-ray tech kind hey, of job. Mister Surgical Tech, Mister Miss um, yeah. X-ray Tech. You're not in the medical field. Um, you're not. You're not. You didn't come out of surgery. No, you're not. You didn't have a life to save. No. Nope. You, you just. Um, you did. You. you you put some jelly on my balls. You maybe clean the the, the patient bathroom, the yeah. toilet bowl with like scrub. Every time, every time when it's very revealing though, they always send the hottest chicks though. Like one chick when, had to put jelly like, on my balls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. When, you know yeah. A couple years ago. Yeah, because they're like just getting started and they got to do the shit work yeah. of like an LVN. Well, they're first just, of all, yeah. first of all, I would not want that girl to ever be in any kind of position of power, but to put jelly on my balls. <laughs> Or how about this? She's a jelly ball or, washer. Or I like. Hey, you all got that jelly ball washer? <laughs> that's what you need to do. Or like, why can't the person that's going to see you just also take your blood pressure? Why does it take like a team? Oh, this person's going to come and take your blood pressure. Yeah. Um. Hey. Hey. What? What? How, uh, what's my blood pressure? I. I don't. I. Yeah. I. I'm not really understand. Hey, can I just do it myself? Because you're using an electric machine, anyways. I mean, I might as well just do it myself. I also have. A, <laughs> I also have a shaky left hand that pulls blood. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing too. Can you please send in somebody that knows where to find what a vein? What the fuck are you in? Can you can you find a vein? And I just so many problems with our healthcare system. Mm -hmm. But and we and you know what? COVID, this whole crisis has exposed it. Yeah, it definitely. I just I can't. You can't. What I want to take away from this is uh -huh. that don't trust anyone, even a doctor, DTA. even a PA, even an MP. Don't trust anybody in the medical field. Get Google a second that, opinion. Google that shit. Get a second opinion and, and do the research whoa, whoa, whoa. on them. Okay, not, not Google. Don't, don't wait. Don't Google don't before. Google, don't Google anything. Just research it. Research it however you want to research. Research them. Research them. Research what you think you have. Right research. after you're already diagnosed or whatever. Don't, research don't, the possible ways to cure it. Right. Don't just take a doctor's word. Right. So so don't do but, anything. Don't yeah. do anything beforehand because you never know because then you're gonna put yourself in a tizzy. No, but you might want to th research like okay, just it, expecting the bad news. Find out what your options are with that bad news. Right. So come so, prepare with that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So say like I have like a lump in my uh, yeah. in my arm or something like that. I'm and like oh god, that's so crazy. It's gonna be cancer. What are the what are the in my mind? In my yeah. mind, right? So I'm not gonna go on WebMD. No, but just say I go. I go to the yeah. doctor's office, and they're like, "Oh, that we need to take some tests." And then maybe the doctor does whatever he does. Yeah. And he says whatever it is. Yeah. Then you, then you go home. You start researching what they told you. Or sometimes, and then you research them. But if they diagnose you like with 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 Joe, like oh, yeah. he, I already was anticipating it's gonna come back positive. So oh, I wanted God. to find well, okay. out. Everybody, just yeah. email Stephen at whocarespodcast dot com because Miss Megley would diagnose any kind of ailment. She thinks she's better than the just PA don't trust doctor. Any, yeah, don't trust anybody too. By the way, she, don't, those are basically she has a sixth saying. sense. Don't trust anybody. Don't but, trust anybody. Yeah. Ver trust but verify. Yeah, or. or don't yeah. trust. Just verify. Just think you're smarter than everybody else. That's and, right. And you do your own oh, research. Oh, shit. Your we're going <laughs> to see. We're going to see a <laughs> fucking plethora of fucking cholos. And you know what, dude? Cholas. You know what, ladies and gents? Gangsters. You are, you are smarter than that Guys doctor. on bicycles out here on fucking Beach Boulevard. Just driving around, go, staying their PAs and fucking doctors because Miss Begley said Criminals them. representing themselves at trial. That's right. <laughs> Criminals trying to be lawyers. It's all okay. cats and dogs marrying each other. It's all chaos. But you know what? Do it. You know what? You, just take you hold everybody accountable. Yeah. That's what it is. You don't need a degree to tell you that you can do that. You can't. Remember, that you can do it. That's know? right. That's right. Remember, remember that they they are human beings too. Yeah, we have the internet now. You can do anything. Also, else. remember that it's really interesting that to save yourself, we have to cut yourself. Yeah, that's weird. So if anybody wants to cut you, yeah, just make sure. That 
I was just watching a jigsaw, the jigsaw. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> he had to cut himself to save his friends. See? <laughs> he had to cut his leg off to save would, his friends. I would, say, I would cut my leg off. I cut my pinky off. I cut my... I cut, <laughs> wow. I'm just kidding. I cut... I don't know about... Yeah. My foot. <laughs> yeah. If, if we could save this podcast, right, vaguely <laughs> enough about the the healthcare community, because I'm sure everybody's really over it. They want to they want to get out. They want to get out in the world. Yeah, they're like, yeah, you know, fuck the healthcare system. Fuck the healthcare system. We're fine. Yeah, we're cool. Let's do. Can we do a hashtag? Uh, fuck healthcare. We don't even want to. Yeah, we don't, hashtag fuck healthcare. Uh, but no, but but I don't really want to say that because there have been I'm amazing people that have yeah. saved lives. There are some great ones. Yeah, there are some great ones. But you know what we just did? We were the antithesis to all that. There's some great ones, but there's some shitty ones. So I just we have right. to put it out there. I want to put. I want to say thank you to all the people yeah. that did save lives out there. Uh, and I also you. want to say the ones to the ones that worked at uh, your grandma's hospital. Fuck them. Uh, well, and, there was one nurse, a male oh. nurse that was good, but the rest, yeah, whatever. one male fuck nurse them. out of everybody. Yeah, yeah, two male, uh, one male nurse. Oh, look and at maybe you, two male. What are you a sandwich? No, no, I. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, you think the lead, the one that would. Like, yeah, the lead nurse. No, the ones that you don't think. Right. You know, it's never know. You never know. Anyways, I just, I, I don't, I, I really, our healthcare system is in crisis though. Cause, well, Miss Bagley, when you, when you do get your position of power in 2024. Yeah. That's going to be the first I'm thing on your agenda. I'm going to cut out all for profit. I'm going to cut out all for profit. I thought you said you are going to cut out all football. All for profit, like oh. medical school, nursing school. Oh, yeah, those are terrible. Get rid of those. There should be no for profit bullshit. No way. Yeah, that, that just destroys. And we should probably bring up the, on charges. We should probably bring all the people, the administrators, up on charges. Yeah, what's for University? pretending to <laughs> pretending to put these PA bullshit yeah. people. Don't call them doctors if you have a PA. Don't call. Them don't doctors. call those schools doctor schools. Yeah, and nursing schools or nursing schools. Then we get a do. profit if, off your money, and yeah. then yeah. You 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 know what? You turn them into the FBI and right now. And, and your nursing school teacher uh, can barely speak English. That's right. <laughs> you know what you do? You send all of these nursing schools and and for profit schools to you us. Call ICE and then you call, and then you, call. <laughs> <laughs> you throw back over that border wall that Joe Biden's hey, that Joe Biden's hey. continuing to build. Can you believe that Joe Biden is continuing Donald Trump's wall? I I can't. But hey, I got it. You yes. know what I do want to say? Yes, is the word game I have. I want to. Oh. I want to just throw this out at you. Yes. Real quick. Okay. Hold on. So here we go. Okay. Well, enough about all the politics of the nursing. Yeah, community. we have a fucked we up government, health care, but you know. Yeah, it's all going to shit. But yeah. you know what? You have us. Yeah. To put a blanket over your heart. And over your penis and over your <laughs> pussy. Miss Meg Lee, tell me, we're about to play the word game. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. we're going to play the word game. And Miss Meg Lee and I were talking about it. We're going to say a couple words to each other. And we're going to say the first thing that comes to our mind or first phrase or paragraph or whatever Miss Meg Lee wants to yes. talk more about. Who's going to go first? Who are you going to do? Throw one out first? I'll throw one, one out to you. Guy. Jason Momoa. Uh, well, the first thing I think of is Lisa Bonet, but I want her like, oh, maybe she'll die, and then Lisa, Jason Momoa will come. I mean, not to be mean, but or something, you know. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, just like of a natural, I don't know, something. Natural causes? You know. Maybe she got a PA or An accident or something. Yeah, maybe she got misdiagnosed. <laughs> and then what? And then Jason Momoa, because he likes, you know. Your podcast? Older, and older women, and I might. I don't older know. women? Yeah, I'm not he's, older, he's old. but I, but at least he doesn't he's like younger. You. At least he doesn't like younger women, so that's a good thing. So oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because Lisa Bonet yeah. is like 85 years old. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking, like you know, maybe like all of a sudden, like you know, he just wants to trip, fall, land in your pussy. I mean, my future husband, and you know, no, that would be beautiful. Yeah, but then I'd also have to worry every time he'd come over. He's what like, what am oh. I saying, future husband? I get tired of him after six months. Yeah, you would. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, but I'm tired of Samoan shit. <laughs> Sex ain't that good. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Tribal tats. I'm over this. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> but I used to love you so much. I'm going to go hang out with Steven. <laughs> yeah, I know that shit. <laughs> why do you always got to go hang out? Why do you yeah, Why yeah. do you laugh more? That's what I'm worried about because yeah. if you do come over here, like it's one thing, you know, when you're, you know, have another man over here, you have another man over here, you have a lot of men. But if you had Jason fucking Momoa, ah. Uh, Sex that, only goes for so long. Then, it's, a it's, and then you find out like you rather just laugh and have a He's good a time. He's a trained fighter. And I'm a trained mouth. Rather laugh and have. A, I'd rather laugh and have like you know fun than, than have sex. That's what I think. Uh, that, you know? Wow. So that's to- all on Jason Momoa. I just said it, but you, you, I could hear your voice right there. You said, oh, I know. But I know myself. Everything is boring after. Oh well, that's really you know, cool. Right? Not, not our audience doesn't get boring. You know what? That's why. I, you know what I want to say? Mm. The people that have stayed married or together and and just. Mm-hmm. I give a lot of uh, credit. I, I almost like I, I, 
that's a really like remarkable thing. It's absolutely remarkable. Like your parents, my parents, I, I don't even know. I'd probably want to kill myself instead of like staying. Whoa. That's, I, that's how, nice. that's because to me, it's almost like torture. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I think, because I wouldn't be able to hang. I wouldn't be able to. No, tough. I understand. That's why that podcast tough. is I'm so. I'm not that tough. That's I why our podcast not, is number one you know? because and we're real about it. So you really got to give respect to everybody that's been married for over Absolutely. like 20 years. That's like. Well, in saying that, you know, when uh, I just, to, just real quick to go back mm-hmm. to uh, me getting those test results that were, yeah. po- that were, I was going to say positive. They, were positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they weren't. They were negative. On that day, I got two different individuals. I'm not going to name any names. Mm-hmm. One was my cousin <laughs> and one was a, uh, a former employee. Out of nowhere, they have no idea, of course, what I'm going yeah, through, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And they both went crazy. Like, I mean, shitted on me like you would never believe. And and I don't want to say anything. I understand their – I don't understand actually where it came from. But I did understand as a thinker. Mm-hmm. And I just sat back and thought about it. I'm like, wow, both these two couldn't be any different. One's from some country. And one's from another state. And I thought, wow, what's the common denominator here? They both have never had a father figure. And that's it. And, right. and, and that's what you're going, alluding to. Man, people who, are been, who have been married, people who are, they both acted like, like uh, you know why? They, if, if they would have had a father figure in their life, they would have never, their dad would have beat their ass to try and talk some weird weirdness to mm-hmm. me. And then post the, I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't be a little gossip. Don't be a little girl. And I'm not even saying any names right now mm-hmm. because I don't want to even do that. I'm just trying to tell you, everybody out there, having a father figure in your life saved me, saved mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. And I am so thankful for that. And whether, whether, you know, we've had problems with our dads, we've had problems with the mothers, doesn't matter. We've had both of them. But, but the father figure aspect for a man especially yeah. is so huge. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I'm like with my kid's father, we were always friends, but the whole relationship part isn't great. But I still, I feel like we're friends. Like we could still raise the kids together right. and almost be like roommates because I don't want to ha- put my kids it, with any other right. person in my life. Otherwise, you're going to get the two idiots yeah, that fucking I mean, text I, me the other yeah, day. Yeah. I mean, I'll just, I'll. Out of nowhere for you know, a, we, a we, ridiculous yeah. reasons. Because like they were feeling yeah, bad. Because like, they were feeling weird. Because they were being selfish. Yeah. It's like uh, you need, you know, like, uh, yeah, you need both parents. And but I know that it's not always obvious because maybe somebody, I mean, oh, I know yeah. that a, uh, I'd always be friends. Abuser. I know that I'd always be friends with my kid's dad, whether or not oh, I yeah, want to yeah. be in a relationship with him. So yeah, I, didn't I, mean could, to, I didn't mean to say abuser like that. No, 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 I'm, no. Just, I'm just saying though, I could actually, because other people that just marry somebody without. No, and I wish you know, that you and you and your man. Uh, but I just don't like to be, I don't like to be. I, really, he's a know? good man. He, he is, is a good, he is a good guy. He's a good man and he's a good father. But I just get mean because I get like, I don't want to, I don't want, I want to be alone. Yeah. For, I want my time. Well, he picked the wrong girl then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he knew that about me because I was always me. I was like that too before. So you know, like I'm like, hey, we could be like roommates, right. like you know, and I, then maybe that just sounds better. We could be ma- maybe you. roommates. Maybe once in a while we can hook up, but we'll just be roommates. Yeah, and well, you know what? That's what I mean. I don't want to hook up with anybody else, but right. I just, I just don't want to. Except for Jason I don't want to have to give all of my time attention. and effort to, yeah, attention to, you know. So. Right, but but you know what? But, but you, I want but, him. But, that is, but it is awesome of both of you to to still, yeah. no matter any kind of yeah. issues that you guys have. That you guys are still making sure that the father figure is in your life, yeah, in your kids' and life. And I don't want to bring a stepdad. I, don't, I wouldn't want to bring oh, anybody God. else into like even. I wouldn't you even. You know what trust happens that. when stepdads come in? Yeah, like how can you even? You always hear on. I watch a lot of murder shows. Yeah, it's like the stepdad it's is always responsible for like the stepkids' murders. And, yeah. <laughs> like and 20, the stepdad 30%. never cares about that kid. Of course, as much. of course, he never does. Yeah, because he wants to have his own kids, and he's like. Yeah. Who the hell are you? He'll never be his own oh kids. yeah, babe. I really do. I I took him to the park too, and he's like, yeah. and still in the car with the or window, that, with the windows guy, rolled yeah. up. Or that guy has his own kids. And That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, and those kids will be. It's just a mess. It's all mess. It's a mess. It is a mess. And so, if you are going to have kids out there, people, yeah. I don't with, have any. Stick so with I, the what person. can I really say? Yeah. But if you are, just man, just try to do like stay friends. There with is them. so there is so many times that I've seen. Yeah. Uh, and many of my friends. That it's just by nature, I guess. I don't know. We all have two parents, and but and that's very rare nowadays. And I'm not saying that I'm not friends with a lot of people that have single parents. And I give love to every single mother yeah. that's out there raising, doing the thing. She picked the wrong guy. Yeah, I know. That's you know, you don't. I don't know how many single fathers are out there, but, but don't have like fucking. But I don't think there's that I many single I, fathers I mean, out there. I know there. it sounds awful because there's maybe some step parents that are cool, but yeah. it usually doesn't work out. For no, like, no, it no, seems no, like no, the majority no. of the time. No, you make it work till they're eighteen. So think ahead. You made you made the decision to fuck. Don't have kids. Just get an abortion. 
You made the decision to fuck. Yeah, yeah. Have right? kids, so you know what? You got to own that shit. And if you don't want it, if you're not sure, then get an abortion. It's cool these days. You could do it. Just get do whatever it. you need to do. Think about the kid. Do you really want to put the kid through that shit? Yeah, you don't want him to be texting old me over here. Yeah, yeah, right. With no, no parent, no parent dudes over here texting me like they got a fucking some hair that's like they think. Do they you know really something. want your young daughter going out with Steven and then bringing over some weirdo friend to yeah. his house to OD? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you really? Do you really want your son? Mothers, do you really want your, your your single parent son to be texting for no reason, like acting like a goddamn fool? No, you don't want that. Wait, did you just say single parent son? <laughs> so, yeah, single parent son. Oh, yeah, so we, the two guys that texted me were texting? both were oh, two okay. different sons. Okay, okay. Twin yeah. sons from different mothers. That's what they were. <laughs> and they were you know what? They were twin sons of different mothers and no wait, wait, fathers. And they were texting you? Separately. Separately. Just raining a shitstorm on me. And I'm like, wow, where did this come from? I just got the greatest test results of the world. Don't rain on my parade, motherfuckers. What other cousin doesn't live in... Oh, I'm not going to say that. I might give it away. I didn't get this other... Who cares about them? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just, it's it's a lesson to everyone out there. Yeah. Get your life together. Trust no one. No, get your life together. And stay with the stay with the person for at least eighteen years or whatever you got to do. And, and don't that think that your family's all Unle- okay. Unless, unless, unless the, the, the what somebody is an abuser in the relationship or something like that. something weird like that, you know. But, but even, that, you didn't see a sign of that before you guys got together. Like, who are you talking no, to? I'm me saying, for? No, I'm saying no. I'm saying oh. no. I'm just people uh, hypothetically like. Yeah, I know. That, like you knew you were going after the bad boy or something. Like right? fine, nobody yeah. knew that they had a violent tendency. Yeah, you like, just liked you know, the way he looked. You saw him beat some other bitch, and you didn't think that was going to be She's you. She's like, no, it's you not going to be me. <laughs> no, not me, because I'm totally. It's different. like girls that get guys when they they were like the 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 one that they were having an affair with. And they thought, oh, now that I got him away from his yeah. wife, he wants you to me. Nope, uh, sure is enough. They're right? collecting life insurance you, policy in their forty eight hours. Bitch? Like they're just going to do the same thing to you. Like, what? oh, you're going to be the one. To no, change you're the him? one. <laughs> you're the one I always wanted. Stupid. Oh yeah, I'm going to take you away from your wife, and you're not going to do the same thing to me. All right, let me. Okay, here's we're playing. Oh, yeah, the, do, we're do, back to the word game. I want to get you one. Ready? Word game. Scott Peterson. Um, he wasn't, he was not, in my mind, guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. So you marry him, so we're going back to that, you, you're no, the, no, you're no, the no, one, you're I know, the I'm one. Saying, no, I don't think he's the one, I'm just saying if I was on the jury, I'd be like, beyond a reasonable doubt, people, what, yep. where's the evidence? Because I saw the documentary, I'm like, mm. there's not a lot of, I, yeah, he probably did, but I gotta say, without any kind of doubt, I have a little doubt, because I, I, I don't have any physical evidence, mm. at all, and none. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. I mean, a little bit, just a little. No, I know you. You need to have. You, jurors don't realize it. Just a little bit of doubt. Just see, is there everything? There, you tell me right now, there was no blood or nothing. No. Uh-uh. Oh, they get a motherfucker out of prison, right? Because I, I watched this documentary. So he, he either he didn't do it or he's really fucking badass at it. Either way, <coughs> let that motherfucker out of prison. There was no physical evidence saying him to her. I would. Say, <laughs> I would say if you're that smart to be able to do that shit. Get they out. thought he was guilty because of like okay there was rope but rope with no dean and not her DNA like just there was things that kind of led up ca- to it. no there was things that could be okay it, it sounds like like as if somebody had um uh a bunch of say you you had a a, a product like say you had a bunch of shirts that mm-hmm. looked like they were from Nordstrom's okay okay but there was nothing tying you to being at Nordstrom's mm. there was or no physical no none of your DNA was found in Nordstrom's store okay they okay they but said I had stole Nordstrom, it but yeah I stole these and shirts they found a bunch of Nordstrom shirts but hey you don't have me fucking I, where no, my DNA? no fingerprints uh, no, nothing nothing in the store they've never seen any video camera of me taking those shirts yes uh huh They've never seen a credit card used in yeah. my name or at Nordstrom's. maybe they saw you getting gas crushed, but you were never seen at that Nordstrom store. Yeah, that I don't even know what the fuck they're talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. So what? I was down the block getting... I mean, I, I, I drive around here. Maybe, maybe I, I wanted to get lunch here. Maybe I have an illegal printing press. You know? Maybe I wanted to get lunch, right? But you never saw me at the store. Maybe I have a lot of haters in my life, which we already know that. And, and then also... And maybe, they want to put those Nordstrom shirts in my garage. And maybe when you're about to arrest me, beca- hmm. maybe I want to leave town because... Fuck, I already yeah. know you guys are going to think I'm the one, even though yeah. you don't have any evidence. And I've seen the Dukes of Hazard, and I know what cops are looking yeah, like. Yeah, I know. What, I, I've seen what Roscoe Pico train. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Room 911. Look what happened to, like, people just get arrested, and they're already, like, What was that one with Jason? What's his name? <laughs> the, the, the cop show? Which one? Jason? Uh, Dukes of Hazard? <laughs> no, no, the recent, the recent one with uh, Terry Crews. Oh, Chips? Yeah. No, what's the, what's the one, the recent one? Like, uh, it's not really 911, but it's like that. Yeah, wasn't it? Reno 911? No, the recently. <laughs> and it's with the guy with the, the, the guy, uh, Andy Sandberg. Oh, it's something like that. It's, um, something, something 911. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> right. But you it's know, as we're seeing with cops yeah. all along the world, 
around the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, another guy just got shot in Minneapolis for. I mean, and it's know. true though because they will cops t- are Keystone they will cops. Like target like a uh, 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 one suspect. Like and it's usually it's America. Anybody wants to be a cop. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, would you want to be a cop in this I, I wouldn't want to be a cop, and I also would not want to be, like, tied to any, like, God was, forbid, you should walk by, I don't know, someone gets killed mm-hmm. right by, I don't know. A, you don't want to be a witness. Is you want to be a witness, and you <laughs> also don't want to be walking in any vicinity or any, like, or you don't want to look like a, a supposed suspect, or like, I mean, you, like, or you don't want to be related to anybody that was killed, because chances are they're going to... Boom! You're going to be like the first suspect. Is like you know whoever's like they, they go with the family members or, or not my spouses. family members. They don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just saying they like, give me nothing. It's like you, yeah, you don't want to. What you want to do is go in when you get called in. My for parents will give me stuff when you go in to call for question. When you get when you go in for questioning, I've given my family everything. Just say I want my lawyer. I don't know anything. I want my lawyer. yeah. I'd say look at I've given my family everything. They don't give a shit. <laughs> That's what I would say. Your family be like he did it. Yeah, and all, yeah, and all of them would probably come in. And like, so, so basically, like, when you have your family, angry. yeah, if you, if you, if any murder happened around this you, where you live, I mean, I'm just kidding. A couple of family murder members, happened in Huntington and you know Beach, who you are. If any murder happened in Huntington Beach, oh. you better get a plane ticket out of here. Oh, Huntington Beach, yeah, because I'm Mexican. They're, they're, no, they're going to say, "Oh, I have a cousin, Stephen. He lives, he lives in Huntington Beach. I think it was him. I think he's Mexican. <laughs> I think not only is he Mexican, <laughs> but he did it. He definitely did it. Yeah, there's blood spatter. Definitely not me. There's blood spatter. I think I think I saw a trickle of blood in his in his in his place. And I'd be, damn it, this yeah. podcast really must have reached a lot of people because <laughs> they are really pissed off at me. You're like, fuck. And, then, and so, like, like Scott you know Peterson did, you know like what Scott I, Peterson did, he dyed his hair blonde, okay. and he took off. He I'd, blame, I'd blame it on one cousin. <laughs> uh, a cousin that pretends to be a Moraga. There's so many that you have. That. No, one that pretends oh, to be a Moraga. Oh, mm. I'd blame it on that girl. She tried to oh, take the last yes, name. yes, yes. Because she's a fake phone. Phony. But I just wanted to be brown. <laughs> it was like, I mean, you know, it's like that. That was to me. Uh, you got a bunch of. Uh, bunch of I got a bunch of Rachel Dolezal. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's called Rachel <laughs> Dolezal. That's what she is. She's a Rachel Dolezal. Not only that, but what about who put she? A Chicana Judas? Rachel Dolezal. A Judas? A bunch of Judases? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Anyways, anybody that supports that idiot, oh. you can email me at Stephen Who Cares the Podcast dot com if you have any questions. You better be lucky that nobody like I'm not you lucky for nothing. I, I work for my own self. You know what? I'm I'm not lucky for nothing because I work for my own self because ain't nobody helping me out. And here's another thing too. What? About Scott Peterson, the fact that he had an no, affair. Scott Peterson. People will judge. I feel you. like I'm Scott Peterson right now. The people I, I want to go. Out. <laughs> exactly. I feel like you could hit, like I mean easily like. Didn't he have some rope or something? He, yeah, but the rope was like the same rope. But the was, same rope again, as what? No, her DNA wasn't on it. Oh. There wasn't any. But it was oh like the God. rope that they found her wrapped in. Okay. But again, it, no DNA. So, all right. So Scott Peterson, we, I just gave you Jason Momoa, Scott Peterson, two totally couldn't be any closer yeah. people ever. So Jason Momoa, Scott Peterson. I'll tell you one thing. If the body, the body think, was found around Jason Momoa, he, he oh, might have. He'd be, they no, lynch him. He might have done it. They would have lynched him. But he would get away with it because he's a good looking movie star. Oh. And they'd be like, hey. Oh, I thought you were going to say they would have no, lynched him because I mean, he was a, he's an they, ethnic person. They would, they, he would get, he, because of his superstar status. Mm. People would like take care of the body they, for him. They blame yeah. the Rock. Or they blame, yeah. Or they, they come back to you. I think it was Stephen Moraga, <laughs> the Mexican guy. Not the definitely his, not the. I'm his cousin. It was definitely but him. I just so, okay. So I just gave you two <laughs> men like, I mean, you know, that you like probably. That, that and so b- what you're saying, Miss Meg Lee, if Scott Pearson gets out of jail, you will not give him conjugal visits now or after. No, but I wouldn't have put him in there if I was on the jury. It would have gone to mistrial. I think I'd go with you. Right, I would have definitely been a mistrial. All right. Fair enough. Well, we yeah. know that. All right, word game You're next. Your turn. Lisa Kudrow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lisa Kudrow. The first thing that comes to my mind, uh, my dad called my ex-girlfriend Lisa Kudrow. <laughs> and I never thought that she looked like her. But then I look over. Who's Phoebe for everybody. Yeah, Phoebe yeah. from Friends, right? <laughs> and, but, and we're eating at, uh, right down here in Stanton. <laughs> There's something for his, like, 70th birthday or something. And my mom hits him. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. And she goes, Hank. So you know. It's and, like- and I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, my jaw just drops because never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be dating a girl that looks like that. <laughs> So all you see is Lisa, all you see is Phoebe now. <laughs> yeah, and and my dad goes, what? Well, what? Well, she's you know she's on Friends and stuff. The fact right? that your mom said Hank, it just yeah. shows Hank, like that's, that's like, not a very gosh, complimentary you don't, you don't thing. Don't see that in like, yeah. public, I guess. Yeah, and so then I turn I turn to the left uh, to my girl, <laughs> and I look at her for just a brief second, and I go, motherfucker. 
<laughs> he's fucking right. <laughs> he's fucking how he caught it. We lasted another, <laughs> another six months and that was about it. And you know when you told me this? Yeah, it's like hilarious. About, but we all see it. I was like, I was trying to pin it. Like, who does she look like? I couldn't, I couldn't get well, my it. My dad nailed and when it. You At told me that seven years dad, old. He nailed it. I was like, holy shit, he got I mean, it. He nailed. He didn't nail it. I mean, he, yeah, he would have nailed it. He would have been like, no. Nah, yeah, he's like, oh, no, I want nothing. Jennifer Aniston. Don't <laughs> <laughs> so think you, Rachel Monica, around. Nah, nah. <laughs> but I was God like, forbid. He he nailed it though. I was like, I could not. It was driving me nuts almost. Romy like Michelle. Like, she looks like somebody. Who is it? I always thought Romy Michelle. That movie, whatever it was, back in the like I was a little kid when that came out. Whatever. Hitting the nail on the But head. but I remember I liked that movie it was because I liked what's her name. Uh, Mira. The, the other girl. What's her Mira name? Serena. Yeah. Yes. The other one I could fucking I'd, I'd <laughs> throw in a. I I do a Scott Peterson. <laughs> she on could her. be Scott Peterson's <laughs> wife. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't fuck her with Jason Momoa's dick. <laughs> and there you go. That's my thing too. Like, don't you know, sometimes when I'm like watching a, a, a trial, no, and you don't. Thing, no, I'm not. Oh, I thought you talking about, about Lisa Kudrow. No, sometimes I'm just like, like how you said. Like, it's almost like sometimes when I'm watching somebody that like a, a, like a story about somebody that got murdered and, and the person that was tried and convicted. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking when I watch this, I'm like, you know what? Mm. I don't care if that person really did murder that person. Mm-hmm. They kind of was annoying. They, yeah, it was annoying or was a bitch. Or maybe that was just karma coming. Hey, some you know? guy, hey. Sometimes <laughs> it's called Darwinism. Yeah, I'm like I was just watching one this this oh this bitch in Aspen who like her parents developed Aspen, and she wanted she was like a bitch to everybody. She was like she thought she was just hot shit because her she was like mm. her dad basically developed like the whole town of Aspen, and she was like really and and Ooh. but she was rich, but her parents had it in the will where she only got uh, uh. eighty thousand a year. That out of a so she only, so this right? I know yeah, only still, right. but that's how she no, felt. But still, so but this so. greedy bitch would like run out but of her house. Masking. But she she would run out of her house to get more money, and and mm. it's almost like that wasn't enough. She would like find ways she to has, like no, charge them more, charge people more. Oh, I'm gonna charge you twelve thousand. Because what happens, Miss Bigley, is oh that, what a horrible person. No, no, no. Awful. But what happens, and a lot of times there 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 is fantastic rich people, but there is also a lot of people that. When when they start to see their income run out on them, she never had to work ar- they're already used to that particular lifestyle. She never had to work a day in her life. Ever. It doesn't matter, but they're already used to that particular lifestyle, and they would do whatever it takes to continue to keep that lifestyle. And guess what? I wanted to kill her after the thing was done. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> they got they got one, but the police were like, I think three people. They got one. They got, no, they got one person oh. that they could try to convict it, but they think it was three people, but they couldn't find enough evidence. I'm like, you know what? I hope those other two people got away with it because that bitch deserved to be murdered. Mm-hmm. Fucking. I mean, the way she Did treated she people. Uh, no, the other two people got off because they couldn't find any. So just the husband. Is the, she in jail? The, the, it was a guy, actually. Oh. A guy that wait, wait, him. hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought you just said it was the daughter. No, the daughter of the rich, she was the one that got killed. And she, oh, okay. yeah, the, the rich bitch, the one that was like spoiled and had a, like greedy. She was just so greedy. And she treated everybody like oh. shit in the town of Austin. Oh, so everybody was kind of cool with it. Like, I mean, no, everybody still was shaking like, up, but everybody had, you been, know what everybody did? Oh, tomorrow's Tuesday. Let's <laughs> all move exactly. on. We, hey, you got to go skiing exactly. today. Hey, you see the slope? See the runs? The Nobody pr- had anything really. Everybody, guy runs everybody right had now. a story about how she could be a horrible person. Like, you know? Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. It's like what? Guess, guess the like, yeah the daughter of the the Aspen developer is. is and you know what? You know what most people would say, and I'm saying most people, yeah. and, and it's not like we're a bunch of psychopaths here. Of course not. But um, do you, everybody is? We started this podcast saying it's the most honest podcast in the history of the yeah. world. You can't tell me that people who die uh, by whatever causes or whatever, murder. if they were good people, murder, or even they died in natural causes, or and they weren't good people. Are you telling me that's the same thing? And I know the law, in the eyes of the law, that's fine. I get that. I get you have to be like that. You have to You have to judge everybody like a, a human life is a human life or whatever. But like, you know, come on. I know. I, what I'm saying is there should be different sentences too, I think, because there's people that are really horrible that get killed by somebody. Yeah. Do you think and, there should be different sentences for and, that? And I think so, because All you right. should really, like, innocent people that get killed. But that's one person's opinion, though, Ms. Bailey. No, but like people that were just innocent, by, like just they got killed because oh, some right. serial Like kill- the bombing, like the, uh, the, the, when those guys, are, those idiots... Boston Marathon yeah, bombing. They just had no cr- and though, yeah, and that port, there was a kid there. They put some tank of of horrible pellet nails, and they yeah. killed everybody inside. Those poor people did not deserve to, yeah. be, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe some of one, maybe one or two I might mean, have been yeah. bad people. We don't know. That. We don't know. But people that were but yeah. they were innocent. Yeah, innocent. Yeah, innocent people. There should be like if. But but people so that, innocent, innocent, and Miss Megley's yeah, uh, innocent people that get murdered. Okay, yes. the people. If you kill innocent people, death sentence. Uh, if you kill people that are it's bad, such a touch. Okay, 
But also, let's remember too. Oh, what about the mafia? If the killer what is about like, the mafia? if when the they, killer when they... is under the age of twenty one, your brain is not fully developed. Bullshit! You know the... Bullshit! Nah, the one, I... Okay, let me just ask you because this, this one's horrific. And we were—I was just listening on Joe Rogan the other day mm-hmm. with Eric Weinstein. I think everybody, excuse me, out there needs to listen to it. Uh, they were talking about discussing about these thirteen-year-old girls fucking kill the Uber driver. And then the, the guy flips over and they're outside and they're complaining about their phone when the, the National Guard comes up and they're they're trying to do everything. There's a video about it and I guess we can't watch it. It's so horrific because the Uber state, driver had what, the video. Which, what state it. was it in? I believe it was New York. I don't know what yeah, it was. But, okay. So if there's that much, if we're looking at something like that, where was the parents? Where was the father? No, no, no. I'll there, you, you. Let me ask you a question. Do you think the father was there? No, I'll tell you one thing. Even no, if no. The, so when the National Guards roll up, they're crying. And so how are they supposed to know when the uh, the situation that they're coming across? Yeah. And the girl, these two young girls are crying, oh, my God, my phone, where is it at? Not knowing that these two girls killed the Uber yeah. driver to try and take his car, and they flipped it. Yeah. What, what would you say to that? Those girls, those girls are dirtbags. They should never see the light of day. I don't care that they're well, thirteen. They're not good people from that no, day. You hear, I knew what I was doing at thirteen. Unless you find out though, because we had good parents that that brought us no, up in no, love no. with love, and there's a lot of because I've seen. I stories. did some. I did some crazy. No, shit there's that. stories like this though where the kids were like, oh, like I'm gonna look it up. Sexually abused by their parents, like awful. It doesn't shit. matter. No, it does. Get like, them out of here. No, like uh, that's another thing Get too. Out of here. That's why more people should have abortions instead of having kids. If you're right. a fucked up person, don't have a kid. You know, like well, that's what's should crazy. There be, should and, and I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even. Like it sometimes to these else. kids go through horrible, horrible things, and mm-hmm. you think like, "Fuck, I might have been but fucked still, up too." So to okay, if they did horrible things, why do they want to do it to other people? Because you have no, you have there. You put no. If value, they have no morality. You, you they keep no them in jail because you put no value on human life. But you can learn that you could be sentenced not mm-hmm. to life, but you mm-hmm. could be sentenced to twenty years and rehabilitate. All right, Miss Bigley, I'm going to play this okay. for you. Do should we watch it? Should we watch it here live? I think we should. So, Ms. Megley, I'm going to show you this recording. Uh, Joe Rogan said, please don't watch it, but we're going to watch it. And I haven't watched it either, so are you ready for this? Yep. Okay, here it comes. wasn't the worst thing I said. I don't know what the hell Joe Rogan's talking about. Like, it's just they had a complete, re- like, no regard for human life. Right. Well, the, those girls were 13. Now what? What, I, what I'm kind of asking, too, and I, I'm not trying to play the race card at all here. Of course I'm not. Uh, but should uh, whatever he was, I think he was a South Asian man. Should all of South Asia be mortified by these 13-year-old well, they girls? Didn't, they didn't. They killed him by... By right. taking his, and it, it, he one action crashed. caused a reaction. Yeah, exactly. So and yeah. would you say that these police things, one action would cause a reaction? Okay, first, okay, they always say if somebody's going to rob you for your car, get out of the car and let them take it. Have it. Have it. Is, is your life What about my cousin Matt morning? just bought a very nice car? Like they said, well, what's worth more, your life or your truck? Or your vehicle, whatever. I know, it's my cousin Matt's very nice car. I, mean, I know you want to like fight, be like, hey, you know, no, you're not going to take I, I, I love I, my Cadillac. I, I get it. But no, hey, if, if these two if these two bitches came in, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna call them bitches. Yeah, if these two bitches came into my car, I'd I'd kick their teeth in, 
Like I did, like they did to somebody else? They probably weren't expecting that he was just going to drive off. They probably thought he was just running out and God, they would take his him. car, you know? But uh, they must have, okay, I don't, I can't well, they see. Picked, did, they they, have a, did they have a gun? I think they had a, maybe a knife, I thought, maybe. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know, maybe they did have a gun. Who knows? If two 13-year-old girls threw a knife on me, I'd slap it out of their hand. Or they could have had a, a gun, but they picked on, he was a small, smaller stature person. They, uh, why, because he's picked, Asian? No, they picked on somebody that they thought they could over, mm. they could take. Basically. 13 old girls. Yeah, because those girls were about as tall as him. Did you see when they got they're out? They're pretty beefy. You know? Yeah. So they, they, they're they they going to pick out the one that they So can. you're saying they would have had a great career in WWE had they not been uh If Uber, The Rock was Uber driving guys. a car, The Rock is trying to like, like take it from The Rock. They're going to pick out somebody that they know they could probably overpower me. That's right. So they wouldn't take it from me because I'm like a little rock. <laughs> All right. Enough about that. Let's play the word game. Let's go again. Okay. Enough about bad news. Okay. Could probably have to hide. One more, one more word before we. Uh, what? You only one more? Well, because you know, I have to. I do have kids that I have to get back uh, to. Uh, yeah, but I got. A, I got a couple other things. Okay. Okay, I was just gonna put this. I have one to give you. Give me, yeah, give me one. Kamala Harris. Uh, please do not become our president. And number two. Oh Lord, hey, let's sing the song. Former prosecutor. Here I am Lord. Lord. Is it Lord. I Lord? And she's not the Lord or anybody. I just wanted to. Let no, you we're know. saying we're saying, please, Lord, please. I also want to say this too. Make her the president of our lives. When is any prosecutor or anybody that works for the DA's office? She put kids. She put parents in jail for not uh, letting the kids. She put people in jail that she knew were innocent, but she wanted to hold up her conviction record. Yeah. So she did not do anything to amend shit. her mistakes, and that's bullshit. Joe Biden, whatever he is, I don't know if he's a puppet or whatever. Hey, look at Kamala it. Harris is an actual uh, enemy of the people. It's a shit show. Our government is a shit show. Basically, it's horrible. the super rich are running the world. That's so right. whatever their puppets, all I'm saying is, although if Kamala Harris did become president, they would fucking, I mean, they put a bullet in her head if she ever disobeyed what they <laughs> you wanted. You know what I would do? do? I would, if I were the South Asian man person, I would be an Uber driver of Kamala Harris. Why couldn't they steal her car? I would, I, if I was the family of that guy? I would say, hey, Kamala Harris, I'm an Uber driver. You need to get in my car? I wouldn't be as affected if it was Kamala Harris driving that car. And they oh, got no. Her, and, they got, like, oh. and they got into her car. You know what I do? <laughs> <laughs> I do this. You're a German. Right there on the sidewalk. Kamala motherfucker. Go, her go, dad go, doesn't go. even like her. Her dad don't like her. He's a, he's, and he's a very well-respected, I believe, Harvard professor or at one of the uh, elite colleges. She's so untrustworthy. What's weird is Kamala, the Ugandan giant who just passed away in the pro wrestling world, when he passed away, it was on the same day that Kamala Harris announced her presidency. I don't trust any DA or prosecutor or anything. Named I mean, Kamala? Anybody that works to put you in jail, whether you're innocent or guilty, she might as well be driving a car. <laughs> She may as well be driving that car that I'm going to rob. No, who cares? It, it has nothing to do with her race. It has, she's just an no, evil person. She, she's she's not. It is nothing to do. It's part of the whole. Problem. And that's that's the thing. I. Right? It's not about none. We are not equal in a sense that I will never play basketball like LeBron James. I will never be as beautiful as you, Miss Bigley. I will never have the eyes that you have. <laughs> I will never have the juicy pussy <laughs> that your <laughs> old roommate had. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid right now. No, it wasn't. It was a film of poop. <laughs> you will never say, you will never call a woman's pussy juicy. <laughs> that's right. I will never call a pussy juicy because that's so weird. But I will say this. I will never be, yeah, I will never be from Lancaster like that idiot. I will never, ever, ever be as terrible looking as she is. I will, and so we're not all equal. You know? Uh, we are not. You know what? But you know what? Next door, you know, you never know. Who is, who is your friends and your ally? The people that you never know. <clears throat> like just yesterday, Miss Megley, when we were recording, I, I could not <coughs> stand my neighbors. And you know what they did? They knocked on the door and I'm talking all kinds of shit. Oh, ba 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 ba, you know? And then what all they wanted to tell me was my iPhone. These beautiful Hispanic people next door. And all they were trying to tell me is that my, I left my iPhone outside. You never done that before though? Never, not once, oh, no. not once. How beautiful is that? So it has nothing to do with the race. We are not equal in the sense that it's good, but that's something that people should just like. I mean, we well, should yeah, we sure. shouldn't even have to worry about it being taken, right? We, uh, my my Uber car. I don't think you want to be taken. That's why I'm not an Uber driver. No, I you, uh, when you treat people good, you yeah. get the same respect back. You and you know what? Them. I am in a better place. It doesn't sound like it, but I'm yeah. in a better place. You got to let go of all the people. Listen, everybody, if there's someone in your life. As we're going to wrap this thing up, I guess. Put a we'll never up. be equal, though, unfortunately. No, we're not. And that's good, though. That's the beauty of life. 
It's not about equality. It's about the individuality about everyone. You're different. I'm different. And and if we were all the same, what a terrible, boring no, life. I'm talking about the instances like well, oh. if, if we should kill somebody, we're not going to be able to be able to get away with it. Like the, like the, the super oh, rich will be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like we, we, we have nobody to cover it up for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have nobody to call. Hey, can you, can you send well, a cleanup? Yeah. Can you send a cleanup person? They're definitely not. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely. Send a cleaning crew. Yeah. They definitely would have that already taken care of. And we would have no idea what that video yeah. was. All those people that video that yeah. would be dead. Yeah, exactly. If that if that Uber driver was like the, one of the Coke brothers' sons or something, they'd be dead. Or what? With the bushes? So we'll if he never, was a bush, yeah, exactly. Ah, dude, we'll never was, have those. Those poor people. Crew. The whole world, the whole block would have been just like, well, oh, 9-11 happened. Oh, what do you know? Another building eight fell down. All right? No, but but for real, it's not about it's not about being equal. It's about being an individual. Because let's not try to put ourselves and label ourselves in these in Are, these particular classes. You're different than me. Megan. How about we just I'm all get treated you. good, though? Yeah, when are we going to do that? God yeah, damn it. yeah. When's ever we going to treat each other good? Yeah, you know what? I you haven't. Know? You know what? And in spite of me not being treated good this week, yeah. I have had the greatest week. I've had the most amazing week. Two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Life has opened up for me, Ms. Yeah, because you know what? You you become a nicer person. Thank you. And even though you were nice and it got taken advantage yeah, of, right. you still kept being nice. Nice, right. And it's still... Even better. So then things to came start coming way. My universe, yeah. right. You might have to face some, some downfalls. That's cool, that's cool, some, yeah. Some people like betraying But sometimes you, you have to go through but those hard in things. in the long run, you'll Absolutely. get treated better. And a lot of people show their true colors when yeah, it comes it's, out. It's, so it's always good to just be nice to everybody. Well, yeah. No matter what. Because yeah. it'll you'll see the return come your way. Later or whatever you might. Well, yeah, no, that's absolutely true, Miss Megley. You, you actually, for everything that you know, you've gone through and stuff, you've actually had a charmed life in the sense that uh, uh, you have people that love you. Yeah. Everybody that knows you loves you. Everybody I've ever met. Everybody that emails me on a fucking daily basis about how I want to have <laughs> sex with your co-host. <laughs> yeah, I, everybody loves you. And when you walk into a room, and, and this is honest to God, Miss Megley, you got to look me in the eye with those beautiful eyes. <laughs> everybody that, that is, I've ever, ever brought you around, yeah. you, have, you have made their life happier. I, I swear to God. I hope. I hope I can. You, you know, know, but you just have a charisma or you have yeah. like a, a charm or like... Or, or you're just maybe you're, you're interested in people yeah, or yeah. A, a genuine and I, and interest. I, I like having positive impact and, and, and being like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'd rather, you know, have like some kind of because that person might be having a horrible. Come to find out, right? You know what I mean? I just it's, it's, it, we it, don't the know. payoff is better whether you know it or not. Like just to be nice to people. That's right. No matter what. That's true. Yeah. Uh, that's absolutely true. You know, you feel better. I feel better, like, knowing, like, hey, I did. Even if they want to come back and treat you like shit or say me, th- like, even if they don't trust you. Uh, you know what? That's kind of crazy, though. Yeah. Then why is somebody like Kamala Harris or if somebody doesn't like Donald Trump, which I understand that, too. But what if, if those people in their eyes think that they're mean or they're evil people or whatever, how do they get ascend to these positions of power or if they're bad people? They're not. They're, 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 it's conniving. It's, it's like, you know, like how... I mean, whether you believe in religion or not, like the de- it's almost like the evil. Like you could make it, you could put a like evil people. She's probably a narcissist, most likely. Oh, she's definitely. Nice. And they don't care about. But so is Donald Trump. And they don't care about anybody else. I don't think Donald Trump. Would care. I mean, maybe they're very similar, even though they hate. That's the weird thing is that they have. They are very it. similar. Yeah, and it's crazy that they would even hate each other because they would be yeah. total buddies. I like, bet they're I'm probably, like yeah, they I bet probably you they're having sex in the in the green room. But or, that's where, the, what is thing that? or the, the white room. That's or when you're so selfish. You only in care Abraham Lincoln's about, room. Yeah, no. but that's what happens though when you only care about yourself and only when you don't care about anybody else. And I bet she cares about more about herself than her own kids. Do you think she cares about Joe Biden? No. She killed him. A couple, a couple weeks before Joe Biden, she called him a, um, a what was it? She called him a molester because, you know, he touched some girls on her butt or something. If she got a call saying, hey, slit his throat, she'd do it. 1,000. And, w- without and even if, saying, we're not. And if Donald Trump got a call to slit uh, Kamala Harris' throat, he'd do he'd that. He'd have somebody else do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> on that note, we love you so much, Miss yes. Megley. We've talked about everything, but re- next week we're going to be talking about the evil that is Silicon Valley and Facebook oh, ads and Google yeah. ads and how they're trying to take away your man. Take over the world. And take away your man, man, <laughs> me, and trying to not make me be a businessman. They, I've done everything through the book, but just because we say a couple of things that might be controversial, just yeah. slightly. Yeah. You got a lot of losses going on, too. Yeah. I do have a lot of losses, yeah. and I'm ready for them. Yeah, you actually you've been pretty good. They should call right. you just like that lawyer right here, Sweet J. Sweet Steven. Sweet yeah, Steven. Sweet Steven Burger. Sweet Steven will take care of your losses. That's right, Sweet Steven. St- sweet Steven with a PH, just like the saint. Love you. Talk to you soon. Ms. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. <laughs>